Aloha, beautiful love family. It is me, Lisa Transcendence Brown. And, okay, I'm going to try to cover as many things as I can today. Um, as many of you know, I have been offline basically all of November. Um, completely offline, other than just posting a, a lot of amazing uh, photos of our retreat that we did here to share the awesomeness, right? Okay, cool. It is, there, there's so much that I am going to have to put this out in many writings. I started a couple days ago writing um, as a gatekeeper and a grid keeper. Those of us who, who do this intentionally and for years and have dedicated everything to bringing forth the information that makes a difference for all of those who are ready here. Um, that's our first priority um, because it takes a, a ridiculous amount of our energy, our focus, our maintaining our highest vibration, anchoring the highest timelines in, um, clearing out anything that's of the old programming while um, assisting, sharing, doing many things. There are a lot of, we put, we put a lot into this for everybody, for everybody here, okay? So when we, when I announced a few months ago that I was going offline for a gatekeeper sabbatical, everybody thought I was going on vacation. <laughs> That's not how this works, guys, okay? <laughs> yep. It's very different, okay? We just shift our focus on, on what we're, we're putting our energy into at that time, and we constantly have to shift our focus here and focus on what's important in that moment. Well, when we move into these high gatekeeper periods, then it takes all of our focused energy in order to do and accomplish what we came here to be and do. So you will see many of us retreat and go offline or pull away. You will see us writing. You will see us sharing, some of us, if that's the role that we chose, which for me through the years was. My role was to write and share. My role was to put the information out there and get everybody present in this moment right here and to pay attention, to open up, to look around, okay? And the reason I'm bringing this up is, is because when it was time for me to basically bring people into the awareness that we were already on new earth, one, we have to have physically ascended in order to understand this. Now, I'm going to say some things that I don't usually publicly say today because I need to make a point. Beyond that, nobody cares, okay? When I went through physical body ascension, one, as a human, we, we understand the concepts. We understand that, that these things, that we're doing these things, but, but on another level, on a higher consciousness level, we don't. So for a very long time, many of us um, teach, taught, doesn't matter whatever place or space you occupy in this moment right now, Many things that until we actually reached that vibrational frequency of remembering inside of us, it was an intellectual thing. It, it was from the depth of our soul, but it was very different because we were teaching what we knew without the actual experience of, if that makes any sense. Once you go through physical body ascension, once you go through the embodiment of these higher dimensional aspects, once you go through these things, everything changes because they're no longer a concept, okay? It's real. Um, you become these aspects. Your DNA changes, adapts, reconfigures, um, everything. Um, mutation is a word we use a lot in order to make a point because technically that's what's happening, but, but humans don't like certain words because it incites fear, okay? So now I'm, I'm going to wander all over the place. You know how I do when I go super quantum, <laughs> just bringing it all into the same space in here. Fear is a wake-up call. 
Collapsing realities is a wake-up call. Shock is a wake-up call. All of these things. Mm, the immense amount of emotional turmoil is a wake-up call. Confusion is a wake-up call. All of these things are wake-up calls, okay? Now, there are a lot of misperceptions, and, and it doesn't really matter, but, but I, the, it's important to understand that you create a reality with every word that you speak. You create a reality, a belief system, a mentality. So each one of us have to take great care in what we say, how we present certain things. And when, when you get super mega galactic quantum, then there are so many different answers and so many different truths and so many different dimensional timelines and so many different realities. It takes us forever to explain something because technically everything's true and nothing's true all at the same time. And because of linear humans will take one thing as truth instead of looking at the whole picture. They can't see the whole picture yet. They don't have access yet because your body has to have evolved to a certain point to gain access again. It is through a level of purity. It is through a level of Christed consciousness. It is through a level of God consciousness. It is through a level of galactic consciousness, not one, but a bazillion of them. And it is through activating and holding that vibration until that becomes your new reality here. This was going to be a short video, but I can see here we go. All right. You'll still have to read the writings because there's no way for me to bring all the details into this. And the last two days I've been writing one piece and I'm still not a third of the way through. It's going to be a huge piece. It's, it could be a book within itself. And then I've got 10 more pieces to write because there's that much information to share. Okay. The reason I'm saying all of this right now is because when I went through physical body ascension, first you have to ascend your consciousness and you have to hold that state of consciousness until your physical body achieves that vibration and can come through with you so that you can basically walk in those dimensions um, in the physical here. For me, I had to ascend my consciousness um, with Gaia when, when Gaia ascended in 2012. I had to hold that absolute highest state of divine feminine energy and consciousness. Then I had to activate and have to, I did, but you have to. <laughs> Everything was spontaneous and accidental, okay? But this is how it works. It will always be a surprise. And then when you've done it, you're like, oh, cool. Now, up until that point, logically, you, you, can, you can talk about it and understand it. But, but the, this is the most illogical uh, um process that makes absolutely no sense because it's vibrational and the two um, do not really fit in the same space. There is a different logic, if you will, and it equates to quantum physics and quantum mechanics and, and in order to apply to our new realities here. When I went through physical body ascension, at first, I had to ascend my consciousness, and I had to hold that ascended state all of the time. I had to become my ascended aspects of myself. No more higher selves at that point. The activation of pure source light, okay? It comes in stages. It is, everything is a gateway. Everything is opening portals. Everything is passageways and initiations that we go through. There is not one moment of the process that is not an initiation for a human aspect, okay? You're always going to be proving yourself. That's what the earthly plane, if you will, is. It's a proving process that you can basically transcend all of that from within. That you can hold your highest state of consciousness all of the time, even when you're going through some unconscious programming, okay? You don't have to go unconscious just because you're going through clearing unconscious programming. You can be conscious during the process and be aware of that's what you're going through. And it makes it a bit easier um, because there, there is no comfort in, in clearing unconscious programming, okay? It's not supposed to be comfortable. It's not supposed to be easy for our human aspect, but you can recognize your humanness and it will be easier if you have that recognition. Now, humans do not accept any part of this process. Therefore, it creates suffering, it creates struggle. They, they each um, create 
all of this resistance uh, and, and all to suffer too. Um, beating themselves up, expectations, not doing good enough, so and so's ahead of me, I haven't, you know, and, and all the stories that keep carrying on and on and on and on. The moment you accept all of this as, as your entire purpose for being here, the moment you accept how these processes work, the moment you accept expansion and contraction and start to understand on a multidimensional level, basically what this means for you, your whole journey will get a bazillion, apparently that's my word today, times easier than it was before because you're not resisting a process, you're not fighting a process, you're not punishing yourself, you're not beating yourself up, you're not judging, you're not doing it for other people. You're basically honoring your entire process and how it needs to unfold and occur for you. You're also supporting the process. You're also engaged in the process. You're, you're, you're detached from the outcome of anything and you're allowing a very organic and natural process to occur. When this becomes your priority, things will get a whole lot easier. As long as this is a, a hindsight or something you do when things get tough and rough, um, then, then that's, that's the, that's the path you're choosing. That's how it's going to be. Okay. I keep trying to get back to a certain point and you know me, it's, it's quantum. It is like a ping pong game. It's just like, boom, 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 boom. Okay. So <laughs> let's get back. Physical body ascension. Once I went through physical body ascension, you don't have a higher self anymore. You are your higher self. You are the whole universe again. And I don't mean walking around saying, yes, I'm the universe, blah, 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 blah. This is being the whole universe. This is complete, full interconnectedness. This is complete power again. It is the activation of your divine feminine and your divine masculine and your divine child. This is, this is through a very deep, sacred, holy union within yourself, merging with Gaia, merging with the universe, merging with the galaxies, merging and integrating and activating all of these aspects of yourselves. When it was time for me to basically mm, fulfill part of my purposes and missions on a soul level and a galactic level here, when I first started seeing that, that I was to do all these things, it was like, oh, no, <laughs> there is no way I'm going to accomplish those things. But you know inside you are. I had to dedicate everything I had in order to accomplish in the things that I came here to do because it was important for humanity, okay? My, my universe, and I call it my universe because we have to call it something, okay? But it is my universe. It's not, it's not the universe. I'm not detached from it. It's not the ascension process, the detached thing. This is our ascension process. This is our galactic earth. This is our new earth, okay? Ours, this is ours. When, when you claim it, it changes the whole thing. It, it brings you into that connection with everything again. If you can't claim it, you can't be it, you can't do it. It's not gonna happen for you. So own it. And one of my old sayings was own it or it owns you. When you're ready to let something go, own it, let it go. Nobody cares anymore, okay? It's a story you tell yourself. It's a story you tell everybody else. It's the validation you're seeking. It's the, all of those things, okay? Give yourself the validation. Give yourself the permission. Give yourself the love. Give yourself the respect. Give yourself the support. Do all of these things. Because as you start to do these things, in your own life, then it starts to radiate out and you will automatically do it in, in, in every other way too, okay? This is a reversal process of everything. It's no longer what's in it for me. It's, it's what do I have to offer? And it has been this way for a very long time. It's just that some are not aware of this yet, which is why we have to say it out loud because when we say it out loud, human aspects will actually stop and think if they're listening, if their heart is open, your heart has to be open for you to hear. If you don't understand, your heart's not open. Close your eyes, connect deep inside, and open your heart back up, okay? Allow all the stories, all the struggle, all the fight, all that stuff to fall away. Let it fall away. You have to choose, okay? If your heart is open, you're listening. In that receptive mode, in that listening mode, you're open. 
When you are open, your mind relaxes, it stops the fight, it stops the chaos, it stops the drama, it stops all of those things. But you actually have to choose to do this, otherwise you're going to stay caught up in, in all of the external things that, that keep you distracted from, from and disconnected inside of you um, so that things can be easier, okay? When I went through physical body ascension, one, the words were, and I only speak this to make a point, and then I'm going to move to something else. I went through physical body ascension, and I'm walking around, and it was this profound experience inside of me. Okay, and it wasn't a, a one moment thing, it had been occurring all along, but there is one moment that everything makes sense. There is one moment that, that, that you have that culmination point where everything converges in the space. And all of a sudden you have basically graduated or accomplished that state of consciousness within yourself. And then you move into the next phase. Okay. So physical body ascension took me an entire year. From the point of expanding my consciousness and maintaining it in my first multidimensional merge in 2012, my physical body, my Merkaba, kicked in on a regular basis, and I was on Facebook writing for everybody, and then I put it in the book, Navigating Dimensions, um, because it was that important for people to understand what you're going through while these things are occurring, because if you do not understand, it's going to bring fear and misperceptions in as to what things are. And you're going to start to try to label them according to human belief systems and, and completely um, kind of miss the point, if you will. Um, when you start actually t um, tying everything to your ascension process, your descension as a higher self, your, your, your embodiment process of merging all aspects into one, um, once you've completed, if you will, um, walking as a soul on the earth, then, then there is an entire initiation process of, of purity with restoration of your template back to the original template. And then you enter all of these other phases and avatar consciousness and all too. You will go to the galactic core. You will go to the great central sun inside of you. You will open these portals up. And you will start to remember in a very different way than, than, than anybody thought this was going to be, okay? The only reason I keep coming back to physical body ascension is, is because of the importance of, of where we are right now. Once I went through my own physical body ascension process, my universe, me, is like you have to actually start speaking openly and, and letting people know that, that New Earth is here. Up until that point, it was it was way off in the future and something where we're all running around trying to get to. But then then once you're here and you start to understand how it came to be and, and you start sharing. And so for me, my universe was like, you have to actually start speaking. We're on new earth. We're on multidimensional new earth. Okay. And then it was, that's when I started doing the videos and writing for everybody. Okay, people were on New Earth. And then all of a sudden you look up years later and, and people are finally getting it. And they're all running around and many are playing or, or at least understanding that it, it's open. It's available. And, and they're working for it on a collective level. Okay. Focusing their attention on New Earth instead of trying to fix a, a broken old Earth, if you will. Okay, an unconscious old earth that, that is serving a very important purpose. Um, understanding that you are on a multidimensional earth is a whole different ballgame. Okay. Well, now for the time we're in, each one of us, as we elevate, if you will, our consciousness to a new level, if you will. And I don't like level, but I have to use it. Um, we basically occupy a space. Okay. In December 2015, Earth completed its galactic merge um, on a vibrational level. 
which means that in simple terms, basically Earth went galactic. Okay, not that it hasn't always been, but this was full blown galactic. This is where we, as the gatekeepers and grid keepers, went in. And, and I don't know about anybody else. I, I can only share my own experience here. Um, this is in your body. Okay, so you basically are going in through your body and you are accessing the galactic cosmos. You are going inside of your body and you are accessing the grid work of New Earth. You are going inside of your body and activating these things, clearing these grid lines. Um, they are in your muscles. They are in your bones. They are in your, your entire nervous system reworks itself. Every part of your body, your neural pathways, your neural networks, everything gets reworked. This is why your body goes offline and, and has to retune. And, and your energy body, your light body activates and you start running a ridiculous amount of light current through your physical body. It starts hitting the pain receptors. This is where all the emotional pain was anchored in your body. This is all the cellular programs that you, that you were holding inside. The activation of your light body will then also activate your crystalline light body, which will also activate your plasma um, crystalline light body, which also will activate your etheric plasma crystalline light body. And, and each phase you will be in for a while until you have completed that part of the process. Each one, each, each light body phase, if you will. Um, the foods are different. The, the amount of gravity in your body, the amount of space that you have in your body, uh, literally outer space, plasma energy in your body um, differs based upon the phase that you're in. The expansion of your body, cranial expansion, your bones expanding and contracting, your teeth, all of these things that are going on. Human aspects will not accept that what is going on with their body is, is, is relative to their physical body evolving their DNA consciousness and their body waking up. It was asleep. Everything was a dormant. And the body coming online, leaving the old earth matrix and basically anchoring a crystalline matrix grid system inside the body, which is a new operating system which is, which is running a ridiculous amount of light encodements and, and light intelligence through your body and every, everything waking up, okay? I'm not gonna go into great detail on this part right now only because I'll be here forever and I have a bunch of other things that I need to share before we go. Um, I'm gonna put this out as the December energy report. Um, just because or whatever i'll just put it out for for december um the one i put out um back for october november december still applies the the messages for december are focus on your physical body's vibration get your physical body's vibration up now what this means is not going to be what you think it is okay so when you're sleeping to integrate then this is helping you raise your vibrational frequency this is helping you clear old timelines, old programs in your body when you wake up, what you do in your waking state matters, okay? If you're by, and I'm gonna go back to the retreat for a moment because it was, it was a great example um, for understanding. When everybody got here, the, we spent the first two days feeding everybody, okay? And everybody getting happy and eating like a ridiculous amount of food. The, the body's vibration was so low. It took two days solid of laughing and, 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 and letting go and relaxing and getting the body happy with whatever kind of food they wanted. We had, we had um, fresh fruit from the orchards. We had a, just like room packed full. They had their indoras. Um, the body's vibration was so low. The body wasn't happy. The body wasn't able to, to, to relax and expand. And, and you can't get your vibration up if your body's vibration is, is suppressed. If your body is not able to awaken and be happy, then, then basically it's harder for you in, to hold a higher vibration 
once we spent the first couple of days of like eating ridiculously and, and they were so happy, then we went into cre being very creative with the foods, creating, creating. And then all of a sudden the energy completely changed because it was no longer about food anymore. It was about being happy. And once you're happy, it's much easier to do these things. Okay. So focus on your physical body vibration, get your physical body vibration up, nature, nurture, relaxing, taking a bath, go to the beach, get in the forest. It doesn't matter how you do this. Even if all you want to do is sleep, then go to sleep because you're going to clear, 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 clear. If you want to dance to music, dance to music. Whatever food you want to eat, now I am going to talk a little bit, just briefly, because the, the, the subject of meat will come up, okay? And I don't judge. I don't tell people what to do. It's your journey. You're going to choose whatever you need to do for you. And the reason I say this is because every one of us had to go through this. Everybody in our own way. And I did too. Meat serves the carbon-based body. When your light body activates, your body will naturally not be able to tolerate meat anymore. You will graduate off of this or you'll go through a spontaneous kundalini awakening and your body will say no more, okay? For those who are worried about having to do anything a certain way, your body will tell you what it needs. Your body, your higher self, your universe will, will tell you, show you, but, but humans don't listen to their body. They don't respect their body. They don't focus on holding light, okay? You have to become a generator of light from within your body. You're going to be solar powered on your own light, okay? If you let your light deplete, you're not going to be able to do anything. Your body's going to shut down. That's what's going down for a lot of people on the earth right now is their bodies are depleted. They, ha they have no light. Their bodies are shutting down. Their bodies are going haywire, and notice the words wire, because your body's rewiring itself. The body, the, the, everything that happens with your body is your light trying to activate, your light body trying to activate and, and bring your body online in a higher vibrational frequency, which is a lighter density. So, so those lower vibrational emotions and thoughts and beliefs and mentalities that are anchored in your body, they have to be released. They have to be cleared. And that's what's going on. Um, when, when you get when you get the flu, okay? The flu is frequency light upgrades. I have written about this for years. Your body is clearing the immune system. That's your defense mechanisms, okay? This is all of your protect yourself has to go. You're protecting yourself against something. Um, this isn't about being against anything, okay? This isn't about fighting against anything because your fight is inside. If you will go inside and resolve everything within you and then make a choice and decide where you're going to focus your energy, decide what you're going to support with your energy, your whole world will change. But you are gonna have to make some tough choices because if you are deeply embedded in a matrix program, then you have to unravel and undo everything that you've done and allowed because on a soul's level, you chose every bit of this. Okay, now on a soul's level, you have to choose to change your entire reality. And it is, it's baby steps in the beginning. But if you have waited to the last minute, it, it, it's kind of no longer a baby step because you're going to have to jump. Okay. Trying to get back around. Physical body ascension. My role was to get people present with their light body which is why I started doing the energy reports years ago online with what, what matching the frequencies up. Okay. This frequency is going down. This is what it's hitting in the body. Okay. So people would start to pay attention to the vibrational frequencies activating 24 seven and, and how they were affecting their physical body on purpose. Okay. Cause this is, this is what we came here for not affecting in a bad way. Okay. Cause none of this is a bad thing. Got to get, got to let all that stuff go. Now it's time. Once we were able to say, okay, everybody, new earth, new earth, new earth, get everybody focused on new earth and, and look what's happening. Okay. Now we have collective new earth, um, physical body ascension going down for, for entire collectives. Okay. W which is really, it, it's amazing because you're on multidimensional new earth. 
you want a galactic new earth where plasma energy is now a ridiculous every day every day plasma energy every day plasma energy because our atmospheres are merging all of the other dimensions in this physical one right here if you attribute it to something um other than 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 understanding on your own higher dimensional level of consciousness you have to go inside in order to access this though or um, a lot of people will open up to channel but eventually you'll have to embody that aspect so channeling is it will only be a temporary thing but temporary may be for years okay doesn't matter how long it is it's just as long as you do so so you figure it out what's appropriate for you but be ready to let go of all of those identities and, and integrate them as one inside of you you have to integrate all of these higher self aspects you have to become those aspects you have to live your life as that aspect you have to hold the energy of that aspect arcturian pure love syrian pure power okay no nonsense um, when we get into, and we've gone through an Arcturian-Syrian merge that I haven't written about for yet. It started in, in August very strongly, and it, it's been going on. Um, we completed, if you will, that merging process um, with the 1111 Gateway, which was beautiful. I will be writing about this and a whole lot more. Um, but now, okay, so fast forward <laughs> through everything that we went through for years. This moment right here. Galactic New Earth. You are on multidimensional galactic new earth. And by the way, that's the title of one of my next books. So <laughs> yeah, lots to do, okay? Now. Not in the future. Now. So as with New Earth, when it was time for me to say people look around, you're on New Earth, start looking around. Same thing for Galactic New Earth. You're on Galactic New Earth. Okay. So the reason I say this is plasma energy in your skies. The new earth hues. You have to actually look for these things and be open to it because it's a vibrational existence. You have to vibrate into that dimension, but it's easier to vibrate into it if you're raising your body's frequency, if you're supporting your body, if you're surrounding yourself with all things that support your highest vibration instead of allowing everything that, that, that interferes, okay? You have to choose. This is your field of consciousness. And if you're going to allow everything in your field of consciousness that is going to affect your ability to maintain your highest vibration, then, then you're the one that's going to keep having that experience, okay? If you are focused on elevating your consciousness, surrounding yourself with everything that is the absolute highest vibration possible, then it's gonna be easier for you to maintain. The easier it is for you to maintain, the easier it is for your physical body to vibrate into that dimension for you to have these experiences, okay? So, Galactic New Earth, the reason that I'm doing this, and now I'm going to have a huge mini writings, and, and then on top of that as a gatekeeper um, and, and holding the galactic schematics for our, for our galactic civilizations in, in our body templates, then I've got an entire thing that I've been working on for the whole year that I have to complete and put out too. It's time consuming, and we're working on it. We do the best we can with the support that we have, okay? So, here we go. Galactic New Earth. This whole last week, everything that I'm to share has to do with arrival. I have to look at my notes because I can't remember. The, the, I'll get stuck on the words here. Because I'm, I'm 12,000 places and spaces right now, and so I'm trying to stay on point, okay? Let me go back. I have a writing coming out about arrival has already occurred, first contact. And, and this is going to be two different pieces, okay? Earlier in the week, um, I'm going to go back for just one moment. On November 26th, I woke up, and all night long in my sleep, the words keep repeating, repeating, repeating while you're going through all of these processes of integration while I was sleeping, but also so you can remember, because in my role is to get up and write and share all, as much as I can. I, other, we, there's not enough time, physical human time in order to share everything, okay? 
that basically we had, I speak of my experience, and then for those others who have done it, then, then it applies to your reality too. For those who are still doing it, it will apply when, when, when you have accomplished this for you. And you'll know because you're, you're, you'll, you'll know it inside, okay? That basically we had integrated the codes in order to be able to evolve and, and recode our own DNA easier now. Now, on one level, I get it. On another level, I can't explain it to you. I can see it. And I can see what we're doing um, because we do have the capability. Um, but this this has to do with the vibrational frequencies that we're moving into right now, too. Okay? All of these DNA changes for your body means your body are going to go through unprecedented changes that are not going to conform to anything that, that this looked like as a human. So if you're trying to fit what's going on with your body into a box and blame or, or, or find a cause or find a condition to fit it into, you'll be able to, but, but you're not going to have, you're, you're not even going to be close. Okay. Everything here is vibrational and it has to do with your star being DNA. It has to do with your Lemurian DNA, your Atlantean DNA, um, clearing your own reptilian DNA, because yes, you have that too. Um, clearing the purification of all of your aspects, the purification of all of your existences in this physical body form here. Now, a lot of people use the word, and right now I'm going to talk about words because they lend to a meaning. And the reason for this video here is to get you focused in this moment right here to look around. Arrival has already occurred. First contact has already occurred. The only thing is that you have to wrap your mind around all of this and you have to let go. You don't have to do anything, but if you would like a, a, a more awesome experience than you do, okay, you get to do whatever you want to do. Um, I'm speaking from a place of highest consciousness possible and the most amazing and awesome and, and, and fulfilling your highest soul purposes and galactic missions here, okay? We technically don't get caught up in the lower dimensional stuff, the old unconscious stuff, because that's all just old storylines playing out. That's all people, that, 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 that's humans running around caught up in a story that they don't understand, but that technically is only still true if you believe it and you keep carrying it on. The moment you realize, oh, it's not present in this moment, right? Oh, it's not true anymore. Oh, I can choose a different timeline. And this is important. Choose a different timeline. You get to. You don't have to stay in the same timeline that, that, you, that you're that you currently in, but you have to choose a different one or you do, or the vibrations will come through in order to recode your DNA to transmit a new vibrational frequency in order to change your reality for you. And this is how it works. Now it's galactic new earth. Take the word alien and I'm going to basically bring all the words together, which is what we do. Okay. Have you ever felt alienated? Have you ever felt like, like you didn't belong? Have you ever felt, and I know you have, which is why I'm bringing this up. Okay. Have you ever felt like you're on the wrong freaking planet? Have you ever looked outside and, and been completely shocked at what's going down on the earth? Okay. This is your quote alien DNA. Okay. So every time you feel this, you are your alien aspect right then. So now I'm going to say collapse that word from alien because it keeps you separated as an alien out there, alien inside. You have to bring everything inside and unify it back into love and unity and all of these things here, okay? So now let's go to extraterrestrial, okay? Extra means beyond, okay? Extra. And then terrestrial means the earth. All right, so, so extraterrestrial used to mean beyond the earth, where, where extraterrestrial was beings in a long, long off universe, if you will, cosmos, galaxies, living out there. All right, so in the merging of multidimensional earth going galactic, in all these plasma atmospheres, that, that, that they're, they're there if you will look, okay? If you will raise your vibrational frequency, you will get to experience the amazingness of what this is. 
being on galactic new earth means that it's no longer way, way, way off out there. It's right here. So now it's look around. Every person you meet is now an extraterrestrial. You are too. Okay. If you're, if you chose physical body ascension, then, then this is true for you. If you didn't, then unfortunately, and I am going to have to say these words to make a point, then, then on a soul level, you chose for your body to die and your soul to leave that physical incarnation. Okay. And that's how this works because new earth, in order to get to new earth, you have all of your old aspects do die. Okay. They, there will be a physical death, an emotional death, a mental death. This is what all the deaths are occurring. The identities, the separation. It is the death of separation from within you, from all of your highest aspects of you. It is a merging and integration process with yourself as Christed consciousness, as God consciousness, as pure source consciousness, as creator consciousness, and all of these things. And, and leaving, literally, transcending the separation of time within you. You will move to, to occupy a space through your consciousness. You will become pure consciousness again. And that's it. Your energy body, your light body will activate. Crystals will start forming. Your body will go offline, offline. It will start repairing itself. You will move into regeneration mode. You will become a generator of light based upon the amount of solar energy, soul, notice the words, that you're able to maintain inside of you okay, and generate inside of you, you will be a transmitter, you will be a receiver, and you're going to move in between these modes. Sometimes you'll be able to transmit only and not receive at all. When those crystals are activated, then other times you're in con con just in a receiving mode, but you can't take any external stimuli because you have to be very choosy at what you receive. Because your body is going through a tuning process and you're not allowed to introduce any external stimuli that interferes with the process of tuning to a, a much higher frequency. Your consciousness is expanding. Smells and sounds are extremely enhanced. Telepathy is off the charts because technically that's a human word too. Okay. To go into depth of all of these processes would take me forever. So I'm just touching on a lot of them to bring the, the picture together here. Okay. But every time you activate a higher state of consciousness, in order for you to walk a new earth, you become your Christed aspect. You become your God aspect. You become all of your galactic aspects. You rebirth yourself. A lot of people walking around become come into awareness that they are star seeds. Star seeds is the beginning, okay? It is where you start to realize that you're not from this planet. Okay, some people have been walking around their entire existence, 10, 20, 30, 40 years, 50 years as star seeds. Okay, but there is a point where you grow up, you evolve in this form, you evolve your consciousness and your DNA changes and you integrate all of those higher self aspects, Arcturian, Pleiadian, Syrian, Lyran, Lyran. Um, Andromedan, all of these different aspects, all of these different councils, all of these, for me, it was the Unified Council of Light, the Galactic High Council, the Lyran Count, I call it Lyran, a lot of people call it Lyran, doesn't really matter. Um, all of these, because you are all things, you are activating this DNA. Well, each DNA in your body needs a different food. Each DNA in your bo DNA body needs no food. Each different... DNA in your body as it activates, recodes itself, your body breaks out, your skin, you go into a detox, the crystals in the joints and all this stuff is going on. Um, it, it's an entire reconfiguration and transformation process of your body as it evolves in light. These light encodements, these higher light, um, higher light intelligence, your body, you become an organic, living, breathing, fully connected, um, bioorganism that's connected to everything you, you become bioelectric transmitters be you become crystals again and, and so becoming all of these aspects and merging all of them within you there's nothing outside anymore you are you you evolve into a galactic you grow up from a star seed you become the system busters you become um, all of these things where you basically 
and say no to the old systems and you start to, to create, um, activate your Stargate system. Okay, each person has an individual Stargate system that links up to the Stargate systems of the Earth, to the galaxies, to, to everything. And, and they're these work cohesively with your inner body systems, your glands, your organs, and everything. So your body will constantly have to synchronize to a higher frequency and link up. Once you have completed physical body ascension, then your Stargate is activated to start coming online. Well, it's a continual process that takes years. It's not an overnight process, okay? So the reason I'm telling you this is because the, the article that, that as soon as I get it done, it's going to be explaining, look around, because your galactics are walking around you. You are a galactic, okay? Now, if you have fear of this, then you're going to have to clear the fear. That's a third and fourth dimensional program that no longer applies here, okay? Uh, unless you keep entertaining that, unless you keep giving your power away, unless you keep um, allowing for control. And that's the thing, is the moment you take your power back, you stop giving your power away, which means you can't be controlled anymore, okay? Except by your own human mind. That's when you have to actually elevate your consciousness beyond your own human mind and observe your human mind. Open your heart in order to do these things. Um, sorry. <laughs> All right, so the reason I'm saying all of this is because read my writings. And for those who write in and say, can you can you put this in video? Can you do it this? No, I do it a certain way on purpose, okay? Those things that are written are written on purpose. Um, they are light encoded. They are activations within themselves. Half the stuff I write is all a course in itself. If you will read the whole thing, it's a whole course, Okay. The, the, the courses that I do with people are to bring things into your awareness on a quantum level and basically collapse everything right then. And, and so doing things together makes it so much easier. It, it's instant. It's right then if you're ready for that. Okay. But the reason I write these things is because they are light encoded. They will go straight to that DNA inside of you. They will activate your own multidimensional and higher states of consciousness that you already know inside of you. You don't have to understand every word. Your human isn't going to. That's kind of the point. It is to blow your mind. The reason being is if I blow your mind out, then your heart can open. You can actually absorb the light encoded information easier. If you're sitting there trying to understand it, on one level, on a soul level, you will. On a multidimensional level, you will. On a human level, you will not. Okay, but you will feel me. You will feel it as your truth. And for those who, who um, don't agree, awesome. Um, there are a bazillion others out there that you can resonate with that will speak the language. Um, this is our energy signature that, that, that is relative or resonant with you. And that's how this works. This is why there are so many of us is because we don't all resonate with each other. That's okay. That's kind of how this works. Okay. A lot of people won't resonate with me until they get to a certain point. I've had people follow my work for years and say, Lisa, I don't understand you, or at least I don't agree with you, but then they come back around. Oh, I get it. Finally. Okay. Cause this is how it works. All right. When you are a galactic, you are not from this time. You are from the future. If you will, you are from, mm, if you will, I don't want to use future and past, but I'm using it to make a point. You're from Atlantis. You're from Lemuria. But they're simultaneous existences that are right now. They are not the past or the future. Past and future collapse. Time is not over to the left or the right anymore. Time isn't. Time is straight up and down. It's vibrational. So when you start going up in vibration, then all time ceases to exist. It collapses. So the more you elevate your frequency, the more you expand your consciousness, the more you raise your vibration, the easier it is to exist in a space of no time. It, the easier it, it is, but you have to go inside in order for this to occur and expand your consciousness out. Okay? So, let's see. I'm going to be writing, um, I've written for years on the evolution um, of, of all of these consciousness, on the processes, on the phases uh, of all of these things. As I went through them, okay, this isn't a concept anymore. 
It is for the intellectual that's still trying to grasp because they're looking at it intellectually and trying to prove. And that's okay too, okay? Look at it all you want to. But at some point, you'll be ready to actually have the experience. And that's how you experience the different dimensions is you actually have to have the experience. You have to allow yourself to feel. Your body's waking up. You have to feel. First you feel, then you get to see. First you feel. And if you're not paying attention to your feelings, then your vision is going to be skewed. Your vision is going to be limited. You, you will not get full vision or access again until what you feel, your beginning point is love. Okay? That's where you function from is unity, love, conscious, purity. This is where you function from all of the time. For the human, you have to practice, 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 practice. Humans pretend to, ha to have luck. Humans pretend all of these things. Okay? What's important to understand is that you will practice until it becomes your new way, and then you won't have to practice anymore. But if you need to create a daily practice, an every in the moment practice, in order to remind yourself to remember again, and that was some of the words that I brought through years ago, was it was these are your reminders. You remind yourself. And if you'll notice in Navigating Dimensions, the whole book is all about reminders. Remind yourself, okay? You're going to remind yourself not to forget. Remind yourself not to go unconscious anymore. You write your own reminders, whatever it takes. This is all up to you. You, you have the capability to do absolutely anything you desire. You just have to want to. And you have to dedicate yourself and commit yourself. And it'll be a whole lot easier. Pay attention to when you get in your head and do everything you can to get out of your head. Open your heart back up. Okay? Your power comes through love. Your power is not to hurt anybody. Your power is not to control anybody. Your power is not to manipulate other people. Not like the old ways, okay? Th this is a very pure place from love inside of you. And the only time you have to pull your power out technically is when you're around a human that lacks respect, lacks love, that, that, that is overstepping their bounds. You will have to stand in your power to say, no, that is not okay. It's not how we do this here. No, that's not my reality. No, not going to do it. No, you will have to say no to unconscious programming because you're the one that has, has to break it down. You're the one that created your entire reality. It's only appearing in your reality because it's still yours. When you say no enough, it'll stop happening. And once it stops happening, then you get to experience something different. And this is how it is. Once you've stood in your power long enough from a place of love, then you won't have to pull your power out. You will exist as pure power, but from a place of love. Because where you function from is, is deep respect, deep sacred everything, kindness, consideration, in harmony, completely in tune, completely connected. You're the example. You set the example. You re-educate every person. You're the way shower. This is you. Okay? So now it's time for everybody, Galactic New Earth, look around you because first contact is yours. And it's going to be important to read the writing that I'm going to be putting out hopefully within this week. Okay. The reason I say this is because those of us who are like everyday ships, come on ships. In a way, that is going to occur more and more and more and more, but it's not going to be as you perceive. Basically, when I'm writing is to tell you that when you see a ship, then look around you because dematerializing, rematerializing, look around you for hybrids, if you will, for those of us who are galactics in physical form here, okay? The reason being is because you don't get the higher dimensional experience until you can actually unify inside for your current physical one. So your current physical reality means that if you cannot come together and work in unity in your current reality, you're not going to have a reality come forth to save you from your current one, okay? Vibration equals vibration. This is a vibrational match. You will receive and achieve exactly what you're transmitting out. So you have to come together. You have to support. You have to transcend your own ego. You have to resolve and dissolve all of this stuff inside of you in order to vibrate to a dimensional plane where you can actually interact on a galactic level. And the reason I am saying this is because 
you will only get to interact for a short period of time. And the writing explains why this is. Because of the difference in the physical body and, and how the plasma body is very different than the human body, carbon-based to crystalline, carbon-based to silicon crystalline, carbon-based to plasma, okay? And the reason being is the plasma body of a galactic is very different than a carbon-based body. They cannot exist in the same vibrational space for very long. The carbon-based human cannot handle the vibration of the galactic transmitting codes that are activating all of their stuff. It's gonna push everything up. Whereas the nervous system of a galactic is very different too. It's very finely tuned and it can't tolerate and will not tolerate unconsciousness in its reality. So you're going to reach an impasse. After a while, you will be able to maintain the higher vibrations in, in order to walk on a galactic new earth vibrationally. And because you're on a multidimensional earth, then the dimension you walk in is going to be relative to your physical body, your overall vibration, okay, of all of your bodies unified as, as one body of light. All right. I love you guys. And... I'll do more, and I don't know, I know this is going to open up a, a lot of minds, this is going to challenge a lot of beliefs, it doesn't matter, this is the whole point, this is why we're here, okay? Look around you and start connecting on a galactic level with each other, start connecting on a soul level with each other more and more and more and more, and instead of showing up looking for what you can get out of things, start showing up with what can I offer? What do I have that I can contribute? Because it will completely reverse your entire reality. And all of a sudden, more things will start coming to support you. You receive the support when you become the support. And when you have conditions and limits on what you're willing to do as a human, then it's going to close doors until you're ready to open those doors, portals again, and walk through them. Um, so you're going to need to look at, at, at what you're doing, your mentalities, your beliefs, your limits, your conditions, and all of these things. Um, I see a lot of people use the word unconditional love. Drop the words unconditional because it means that there's a condition to start with, okay? This is about love in, in from your purest form of your soul. Your soul is not mourning. Your soul is not hurting. You're human. That's your humanness, okay? Your soul is pure. And when you can go to the depths of the core of your being and function from this very purest place inside of you and connect from this purest place inside of you together as one consciousness again, then you are going to have a very different experience than if you're functioning as a separated human from your ego, your root chakra, okay? I love you. And... I'll talk to you very soon. I'll be putting more out. It's going to be a busy month. I've been offline completely. Yes, I am I'm backed up and bombarded, and it's just going to have to stay that way. Um, I will get to things as I get to things this whole week, month. Sorry. It is dedicated to gatekeeper duties and what we're here to do. Um, the interviews that I have that will be out this month and the activations and stuff like that will be announced, and so you can follow those too. Beyond that, um, choose your earth. Choose your galaxy <laughs> because what comes next is a surprise for everybody. I love you. Mahalo.